welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia for those who are just tuning in for the first time and welcome back to everybody else. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you guys I have a giveaway. It's a little small mini one, but I think you guys will like it. I mean, it's on my ultimate, ultimate favorite foundation in the world. So if you guys are interested on how to enter, it's just two easy, easy steps. I'll go ahead and link that video in the info box below if you guys are interested because you literally have less than 10 days to enter and I'm going to announce the winner on March 14th of that video and onto my social media. So if you guys want to know if you guys want and want to connect with me, hey, go ahead and start following me. I'll put everything in the info box below for you guys. So today's video, as you guys can see, I'm back for another top five favorite series. And this video, I'm going to talk about my five favorite nude lipsticks. So I have a whole bunch of swatches here in my hand. I have some cream finishes, satin finishes, matte finishes, high shine. I mean, I love all the textures and formulations of each of these individual lipsticks. Let's just go ahead and get started with the lippies. Ah! <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started on my top five. here is by Hourglass. This is an amazing formulation pencil. It's retractable, easy to use, self-sharpening. You don't have to worry about bringing a sharpener with you. So if you travel or on the go or just a minimalist person, this is the way to go. This comes off more of like a nudie mauve kind of color, but again, it works well with my complexion. You can actually put the lid on the back of this pencil liner so you don't have to worry about losing it. And it can even stand on the table, which is pretty cool. This is the Hourglass Lipstick in Peacemaker. The second lipstick I have is by MAC. Oh my gosh, this just brings me back. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but definitely when I was a young teen, I was able to go to the malls with my girlfriends, and every time we go to Nordstrom, of course we get so mesmerized about these beautiful makeup artists at MAC, and you're just like, I want to be pretty and one of those girls one day. But I'm sure most of you girls and guys out there can relate to this, that MAC was probably one of the first real makeup lines that you guys had. I mean, I've had drugstores all the time, but like when I got a MAC, I was like, girl, this is high class. <laughs> this has been one of my ultimate favorite nudes that I've ever got from MAC. So don't mind the shape of it because I was trying to clean it and I pushed a little too hard and it kind of bent out of shape. You see that? So it kind of bent out of shape. I'm sorry about that. But I love, love this nude. This nude is a luster formulation. So it actually is really creamy, but very comfortable to wear. You see how much more nude that is versus that Peacemaker color? Oh my gosh, I love this color so much. I used to wear this with my MAC lip liner a lot, but of course I'm not going to use that because I don't want to disturb the color of this lipstick. Guys have to try out this color if you haven't. I'm hella breaking my lipstick. This color is so pretty. It's like an actual true, true nude, which I really, really like. It's so comfortable to wear on the lips, but imagine this with like a smoky eye. This is like perfect. This color is High Tea by MAC. All right, my lips are starting to get crusty. So I'm just continuing on with my lip balm. And of course, I'm using the lip balm that doesn't have color because I don't want to disturb the color of the swatches for you guys to see. So the next one here is by Dose of Color. You guys may know very popular beauty influencers, Desi Perkins and Katie actually collabed with Dose of Colors and created this color, which is No Shade. Now, this color is actually a true, true matte. It's really drying but it does stay on the lips for most of the day. For me, having more drier lips, I do have to load up a whole bunch of moisturizer underneath. Otherwise, it starts cracking and it just gets really yucky looking and feeling. But I do like the matte finishes sometimes. So this is more of like a pinky nude, which is a really pretty nude. Sometimes I can look a bit washed out depending how much bronzer I put or if I gain some color, but it does give me more of a nude look, which I do like. Again, if I'm pairing this with a smoky eye or just want just a nude lip looking kind of day. The color of this lipstick is really opaque. So this is actually a true nude that looks like my skin color, but I look so washed out because I don't have any eye makeup on, but 
This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So this is Dose of Color No Shade. And just for fun, sometimes when I wear this, it's a little too matte for me. So I do like to add a little topper. This is by Marc Jacobs and the color is Sugar Sugar. I know it's going to be even more crazy looking, but I just want to show you for fun. So this is how the lip gloss looks like. It's more of like brownie nude. So sometimes I do pair it with this. So I'm just going to show you. Mmm. I love the peppermint tingly feeling. But here you go. So here's a combo of No Shade and Sugar Sugar. So this next one is by Givenchy, which is another current favorite. I mean, like, all of them are, but this one here is an extremely nice formulation. This is the Entredit Vinyl Collection, and this actually contains black rose oil. This is also a nice nude, but or beige color. I just love the consistency. I love how it's creamy, it glides really smooth. Again, with the black rose oil, it has a lot of hydrating and conditioning properties. Again, with this application, it kind of acts like a pencil. So with this color, I feel like it's forgiving enough for you to kind of overline your lips a slight bit. As you can see, I'm just outlining the top of my lips and I'm just kind of extending it even on the lower parts in the center bottom lip. And across my cupid's bow, I just went directly horizontally right across. So it kind of gives an illusion of a more powdery lip look without making it look so obvious. This is the Givenchy Vinyl Collection number no. 2 Beige. So this is the last lipstick I have and it is the Sephora Collection Lip Story Lipsticks. This formulation is truly, truly amazing. This is a cream finish, it's a nice pinky nude, it's so soft and comfortable to wear on the lips. I mean, for a Sephora Collection lipstick and formulation, this is super, super opaque. I would say it's pretty similar to the colors of the Hourglass and the pigmentation. Guys, you need to check this out. Like seriously, it's affordable and it's such a great formulation and it stays on the lips for most of the day. I honestly like this color the most out of all the shades just because it looks like my lip color. So it's kind of like your lip color, but better, right? This is a Sephora Collection Lip Story Lipsticks number three, we. So just a little recap. The first color we had here was the Hourglass Peacemaker, which is this shade here. Very cream formulation. It's a retractable pencil, acts as a liner, easy to use and to line the lips and also to travel with. So this is a satin finish. The second color is High Tea by MAC and this is the shade right here. This is more of a creamy formulation but an actual true soft nude. Third lipstick, Dose of Color, no shade. True matte, nice pinky brownish nude. Number four, Givenchy Entredit Vinyl Collection High Shine Number no. 2 Beige with Black Rose Oil and a lot of conditioning properties. Final lipstick is a Sephora Collection Lip Stories Number no. 3 Cream Finish with a nice pinky undertone. The last swatch again is a Marc Jacobs lip gloss that I just paired it for fun with the no shade lipstick. All right guys, so that is it for my top five favorite nudes. These are just my top current fave lipsticks that I truly, truly love. I love the different finishes that I have, the different colors. They work well with my complexion. Again, we have a satin finish. We have a creamy sheen finish. We have a true matte. We have a high shine and we also have a more pigmented creamy formulation. So I'll go ahead and link everything down in the info box below for you guys to see where you guys can purchase them if you liked them and if you guys try them please comment below I would love to hear if you tried it or not and I'm also here to open for any suggestions that you think I should try out as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys found it helpful in any way please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you guys leave don't forget I have a giveaway and it's ending on March 14th and again it's gonna be on my ultimate favorite favorite foundation in the the world you guys don't want to miss it because it's such an easy easy entry basically subscribe to my channel and comment below of that video what shade you think you'll be and of course I'll link that video in the description info box below all right guys I hope you guys are having a wonderful day please stay safe in this crazy thunderstorming and crazy weather we're having here in the Bay Area although we need the water just take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys on my next video bye just a little bit oh poo. I had that the whole time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my Every time we go to Nordstrom, of course we get so mesmer-